It is a crisis doctors say needs much more attention. Mental health in our teens and our young adults. A newly released survey from the CDC shows that nearly one in three high school girls seriously considered suicide over the past year. One in three. Nearly five of every eight high school girls had feelings of persistent sadness or hopelessness, an all-time high. It is nearly double the amount of boys who had the same feelings. Joining us this morning to have an important conversation is Dr. Wendy Sue Swanson. Dr. Swanson, thank you for giving us your time this morning. This is a cry for help, right? It like was a gut punch for me to read these numbers and hear that our girls are going through this. Yeah, and I think, you know, to put it in perspective, our girls are going through this, boys are going through this, and children who identify as lesbian, gay, or bisexual are going through it even more. And so this trend that we're seeing is a wake-up call, even though we knew the alarm bell was ringing even before the pandemic began. So technology, right? We always point the finger at technology. What's the role in this with our smartphones, with social media? Well, first and foremost, the CDC report that came out, I just want to put it in perspective. You know, they they surveyed over 17,000 teenagers in high schools all around the United States, and they do so every two years. And so instead of giving us reason, what they do is show us the trend. So to your point, I think technology is a real, you know, finger point. We can, we can point to a lot of ills, but what we know is that girls more than boys are deeply uncomfortable in our culture, that three of five are saying that for more than two weeks in a year, right? They're hopeless and overwhelmingly sad and that, you know, they're contemplating or even attempting suicide at rates that are unimaginable. So when we think about technology, we need to think about both technology companies and how algorithms work and draw attention. And then we need to think about what we can do on an individual level. You know, I'm a mom of two teens as well. And how do we basically manage, right, the addiction in some ways that many children have, but also just the lure of, of how kind of our brains respond to this and, and how we compartmentalize it in life. And was this made worse in the pandemic, the isolation so many teens felt? Yes, without question. So we know, for example, that in the 10 years that led up to the pandemic, we'd seen a doubling of suicide ideation or the thoughts of suicide and kids even kind of presenting to emergency departments. Then during 2020 and 2021, we saw an enormous more than 50% rise in some of those presentations. But when you look at the trends that comes from this report, for some reason, we're seeing this big bump in girls, even more than boys, from the isolation, from the pandemic and likely from online social media use and, and the way that that can let girls feel. I mean, let's be frank. It's a hard time to be alive right now with the kind of oppression that we feel from so many difficult things going on in our culture and around the world. But there's something really specific about being a teen girl that makes it harder. It's just harder to grow up being a teen girl today in the United States than it is growing up being a teen boy. But, but I do have to mention lastly here that yes, three in five girls are feeling this overwhelming hopelessness. We're seeing almost 70% of children who identify as lesbian, gay, or bisexual saying that. So there are, you know, ringing bells out there that say, you know, we know that we need to, if we have a child and teen in our life, we need to work on specifically creating better connection for them and better support. Right. We have the data now. We know it's happening. Now we have to have action. We have to check in. We have to pay attention. Uh, there is a National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Call or text 988 if you or someone you know is dealing with this. Dr. Swanson, thank you uh, for having this conversation. We'll be having it again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.